In this problem, I need to solve the equation x squared plus 3x minus 28 equals 0. Well, what type of equation is it? As you can see, the highest power on an x is a 2. So it's a quadratic equation, and we're going to solve it by either factoring, and if that doesn't work, the quadratic formula. So let's look at the steps involved in solving a quadratic equation by factoring. So the first thing we need to do is write the equation in standard form. That means everything written on one side in descending order, zero on the other. Is that already done for me in this case? Yes, so step one is already completed. Step two says to factor. So to factor, what we want to do is we want to compare it to ax squared plus bx plus c. And what is, the co what is the coefficient of the x squared? There's a 1 in front of the x squared, so a is 1. What's b? b is 3, and c is the constant term, negative 28. So when we multiply a times c, we get 1 times negative 28 gives you negative 28. So I have two numbers that multiply to negative 28 and add to b that is 3. Since they multiply to a negative, the signs are opposite. Since they add to a positive, the bigger one has to be the positive. So I'm going to start with negative 1 and 28 that definitely multiply to negative 28. But when I add them together, I only get, I get positive 27, not 3. Does 2 go into 28? Yes. So I have negative 2 times 14. Remember, the bigger number has to be the positive one. Negative 2 plus 14 is 12. Getting closer. Does 3 divide into 28? No. Does 4? Yes. So it's going to be negative 4 times positive 7. They multiply to negative 28. And what is negative 4 plus 7? positive 3. Eureka, that's the number I need. So here are my two numbers, and since a was equal to 1, those are my two factors. So I can immediately write my factors down, and I get x minus 4 times x plus 7. So now I've done step 2. Step 3 says set each factor equal to 0. Two numbers multiplied together equals zero. One of them has to be zero, so you set both of them equal to zero. And then we solve each resulting equation. So the first one, add four to both sides. The second one, subtract seven from both sides. So there are my two solutions to this quadratic equation. Do I have to check my answers? No, but if this was on an exam, what I'd do is I'd take each individually, plug them into the original equation, and see if I get true statements.